And yo, so today we're going to be going through the Mevo Start streaming cameras, man. They can stream live on multiple platforms. You can be able to get on Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, LinkedIn, Vimeo, uh, Zoom, all that good stuff you can use these cameras for. And you can be able to set up a three camera setup. It's like the dopest thing ever, right? So the first thing you're going to want to do is, is go to the Multicam app. So you can put this on your computer if you're going to be streaming off your computer. They also have stuff for your phone and all that good stuff, your camera app, all that good stuff. Today, we're going to be just doing it off strictly off the computer and showing you how to hook up Ethernet to your computer. So if you have a Mac or you have a Windows, you pick whichever one you want. Today, I'm going to be working off of a Mac, so I'm going to show you exactly how to be able to do it with a Mac, all right? So... First thing you do is, is you get your Ethernet box. I don't care what's the company. I got Netgear. And then I take my internet and then I place it inside of my Netgear box. So that way I know that I'm going to be getting all the Ethernet source through my Netgear box. So now then I take my other cords and I put it inside of my box as well. These are going to be my cameras. I'm going to hook all three of my cameras up as well as hooking up my um, computer and for my tablet as well. So now that I've hooked all my Ethernet cords, I take my adapter. And so you can go to the Mevo site and be able to see which adapters will go inside of these Mevos because it's only particular types that will go inside of here, okay? So you just go to the Mevo app and you put in Ethernet and it's going to give you third-party um, Ethernet adapters. So you can buy the, the, the Mevo's um, adapter. It's like a couple hundred bucks or you can buy an adapter that's going to be able to just be a third-party adapter and these are some of your options as you can see this is the one I'm using right now and I've been using that one for a minute I ran into this problem at the beginning when I was not um I didn't get the right ones and so I was getting the wrong ones and I wasn't getting a connection so just want to let you know and give you the heads up. You can go to the Mevo app and find out the third-party ones that's not as expensive as the ones that uh, Mevo might sell, all right? After I do that, I place it inside of the back of my Mevo where it has a C-type charger. So then I cut the camera on, hold it for three seconds, and watch it light up, and it does its thing, all right? So now that I got all my cameras hooked up, I'm going to do my iPad. And if you have a different type of thing, you can use your phone, you can use whatever. I use an iPad in particular. So I take another Ethernet cord that I have, and I hook that up to my iPad adapter. So after I get my iPad adapter, I find my iPad, and I just put my adapter inside of the iPad. Make sure that when you go on your iPad that you are using Ethernet. You go to the settings, and you go to Ethernet, and you should be able to see if you're on the ethernet cord okay i also take my cord my other cord and i hook it into my other adapter and this goes inside of my computer you want to go into the mevo app so you press the mevo app that's right there it's going to give you all that options and then it's going to pop right in and it's going to let you know that you're connected to ethernet so you go to cameras and i need to update my stuff to tell you all that stuff too and i'm super low so Doing this video is crazy. But anyway, you'll be able to see that it's hooked up through Ethernet through here. You can disconnect it, hook it up through Wi-Fi. But we're going to stay right there because that's what we wanted to do. We wanted to make sure that we were hooked up to Ethernet. So, like I said, you can go through this. You close that out. You can go through these things. And really, you can flick your cameras now. You're good to go. You got some of the best stuff going on here. And the cool part about this stuff is this is why I like Mevo, right? So you can go to, um, you can do a picture in a picture here and you can pick which camera that you want to be able to use. You don't have to use a picture in picture. You can also do like put people's names in here at the bottom of the screens. You can put their logos. You can do corner bugs is what they're called. Lower thirds, all that good stuff. Um, also one of the good features they got. So transition types, you can be able to put, um, any type of transition that you want to be able to put through here as well. Very professional. And then I'll do a video on this one. It's called Auto Director. And so what you could do with Auto Director is, is that you can actually just turn these cameras on and it'll direct for you and you don't have to do anything, which is pretty cool, right? So 
you put the um, um, camera quality in, excuse me, camera quality. So when I'm using um, Ethernet and I'm running through, I try to go at my highest quality. I could push out 1080 because I don't have to expect any lag. Video source latencies, you could put it on ultra low or high latency, whatever it is that you feel is good for you. Low latency is always good sometimes for just certain things. So you pick your flavor, you do what it is that you feel that's best for you and your stream. Because that's what it's all about. Um, yeah, so you got audio options in here as well. Um, they got a whole bunch of new stuff that they've just introduced. Like you, they see, I see they got NDI inputs coming soon. So that's going to be really cool. You got a lot of options here with the Mevo. That's why I like the Mevo. Um, you can play with the audio as well here. You can turn these audio down off of this off of the Mevo. You can turn the audio up. You can play with it, how much audio you want inside of it. You can also um, hook up your own personal mics into the Mevos and get your own sound. So I think that's pretty cool too. So um, then you go here to your um, your computer. Take off the network. We're going to get preferences. Where's my stuff at? Down here. And we're going to connect it to Ethernet. Boom. After you connect it to the Ethernet, you're already hooked up over here on the screen. So we go to the Mevo app here. Boom. And then as soon as you, you're able to get that, what happens is, is a little, that little red button pops up on your screen and it allows you to know that you are now able to connect to the computer, which will allow you to be able then to put it in whatever type of medium that you would want to put it in. You know, some people use um, StreamYard. I'm a StreamYard type of guy. You got all different type of platforms that you could be able to use. You got Streamlabs. You got, um, you got a multitude of things that you could be able to use. And what StreamYard does allow you to do is just to to, um, to stream to multiple platforms. So we're going to go into StreamYard, and I'll show you how to be able to do that. So you go in here. I'm set up on Firefox when I use this, so there got my other camera. Took a little second. I go in here to StreamYard. Then I go to Create. So we're going to just do a create a recording. We're going to test this out. Bam. And we're going to press create recording. Boom. That. And it's going to ask you which cameras you want to connect. You want to connect to the multicam wireless. That's for me. And then I'm using a device. But you can also use the Mevo as well to be able to do what you need to do. So, bam, now that I know that we're talking, we're in here, we're into the studio, and not only do we have a stream, we have our stream set right up here on our stream yard. So, now we're hooked all the way up, you know what I'm saying? And that's how you're able to run a stream and hook it up. So, then now I'm able to go back and forth with the cameras. See, I'm here, I'm there, and also... The dope part about this is, is that it has a little red light, so you can actually be able to see exactly what's happening while you're doing these Mevos. So the cool part about it is, is that now you can be able to live stream with three cameras. You don't have to worry about, um, you know, just a lot of different things. Even if you don't want, you don't need people to be able to record you if you like to record yourself. You have the option to be able to do it. It's really cool. Nobody showed me how to be able to do this. I had to go through straight trial and error to be able to learn how to do these Mevos. So I hope this video is really helpful for you because um, it definitely helped me to be able to learn how to just do basic um, Ethernet hookup. You can also hook up these Mevos through... Um, through Wi-Fi, hook them up through your phone if you don't have an Ethernet option. But for me, especially when you're doing shows and you're trying to be able to do something and you're putting it out in a manner where you need it to not lag, 
I definitely recommend that you keep it on Ethernet. Ethernet is the only way to really be able to go when you're doing any type of streaming or you're doing any type of shows. You want to make sure that you you kicking it out in Ethernet and not kicking it out um, using Wi-Fi. Too many people could be using the Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi could be going through too many different servers. This is coming straight out of the box. So you don't have to worry about it. You take your Ethernet cord, you hook it straight up into your in, into your internet, and then you do the steps that I taught you um, from the beginning. I hope that this was able to help you. Let me get it go out. Get, get my cameras. I hope this was able to help you on your journey to be able to try to be able to live stream. If you have any questions, you can hit us up um, at Popboiler Media. My name is Jormel Reese, and we're your professionals, man. Peace and blessings, blessings and peace. It's the boy Jarmel Reese.